Hey guys, this is John Cornell, the Genesis Cloud Developer Engagement Team, and I'm here with a new dev drop for March 2022. So in this dev drop today, what we're going to talk about is the new CXS code flow component. Now, uh, previously when you were deploying an architect flow and all of its dependencies using CXS code, you would basically build a Terraform file, you build all the kind of pre-dependencies that your architect flow was dependent on, and then you would use a Terraform null resource to basically shell out to the Archie CLI to deploy that um, flow. And then when you were done, you would use CXS code to again, create the trigger that would hook up that flow to whatever the trigger was. So in the case of an IVR, you would hook up your IVR configuration to the flow. Now, the problem with using the Archie CLI is it works great, but it means that you always have to have a dependency on installing the Archie CLI and configured in your pipeline. And the Archie CLI had a little bit of an impedance mismatch with the variable names that were expected for the OAuth client credentials versus what the Genesis Cloud provider had. So it always involved, uh, if you were setting it up in the CI CD pipeline, you often had to kind of duplicate the same values with slightly different uh, variable names. So what the Genesis Cloud Flow resource does is it basically allows you to take your architect flow that's been exported as a YAML file and uh, using the uh, uh, Genesis Cloud Flow resource, you can upload it to uh, the Genesis Cloud and then have it run internally within Genesis Cloud and deploy so that you don't have to do these um, extra steps in your CI CD pipeline. It makes for a much smoother experience in terms of building out your CI CD pipeline. It also makes it a lot easier to set up very light workflows and things like Terraform Cloud where you can't really install a lot of extra dependencies. All you can really do is run your entire Terraform uh, file without necessarily calling out to shell, uh, shell scripts. So um, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna walk through an actual example of the Genesis Cloud Flow resource, and then I'm gonna show you how to set it up in uh, Terraform Cloud and actually connect it to a GitHub repository. So for our example that I'm going to do here, I'm gonna flip over to some code and what we're going to do is I took the simple IVR blueprint that I have that we have out the Genesis Cloud Blueprints directory, and I modified it to use the new Archie flow component. Now, mind you, the new Archie flow component is uh, still in beta, which means you have to be part of the beta program. So uh, in order to do that, you have to reach out to Becky Paul, our product manager, and basically get uh, added to the list. I'm going to type here in the in the chat window, even though it's a little low tech, but you can send Becky an email at beckypowell.genesis.com and just request to be added to the beta and she'll be more than happy to add you. So let's go out here and take a look at this simple IVR flow. Now this is just everything's contained within a single Terraform file and I'm creating a, a few Genesis resources that are needed for the flow. I've set up a couple of example users I set up a couple example queues, I map a user to the queue. And then when it comes time to actually deploy the flow, rather than using the Archie CLI, I'm using the new Genesis Cloud uh, flow resource. So what I'm doing is I'm going out here, I'm setting up the Genesis Cloud flow. Uh, I'm giving it a logical name of deploy Archie flow, and then I'm giving it the path to where the YAML file is in my project to be able to deploy it. Now you could do an absolute path or a relative path. Now, one thing to note out here is that you still have to go out and manage the dependencies uh, for the pre and post dependencies for your Archie flows, because while we have a flow component out there, Archie has a lot of files that Terraform is not aware of and dependencies. And so we have to manage those ourselves because otherwise, uh, yeah, this thing doesn't uh, participate in the Terraform tree. So the other nice thing is because we now have the flow as a Terraform resource, we no longer have to do a data source or a data lookup of the flow after we're done to go and map it into a dependency. We can just go out there, reference the flow type, the logical name we gave it and the ID. So let's go ahead. Uh, this guy's already sitting out there in a project um, in GitHub. So let's now go over to uh, Terraform and let's go set up a Terraform job to go and execute this. And this is all running in Terraform Cloud. So I'm gonna go out here, I'm gonna flip over to Terraform Cloud. I've already logged into it. And Terraform Cloud does have a freemium model. So if you wanna play around with this, you can. Uh, it's not a full blown CI CD pipeline tool, but it is a nice way of being able to very quickly stand up 
uh, deployments of infrastructure using uh, Terraform files. So we'll kind of walk through it here. So I've already done this several times. So when I go to the new workflow, uh, I'm going to go to the ver uh, I'm going to go and select the version control workflow. And the very very first time you do this, you're going to be asked to authenticate against GitHub, choose your organization, and choose your repository that you want to connect to. So I've already done some of that work. So there's already some knowledge of that here. So I have an organization called Thought Mechanics, and I've already got a um, repo that I've pointed to called Simple IVR Deploy. So I'm going to go out here, and one of the things I've still got to do on the advanced options is set up the working directory. So what happens is Terraform Cloud, whenever something's committed uh, to GitHub, Terraform Cloud's going to be triggered to build it. It's basically going to clone the project, and we have to tell it what directory that Terraform blue, uh, that Terraform file is in. So all of our stuff is located under Blueprint. And what I'm going to do next is I am going to create the workspace. Now we're not quite done yet because the CX's code Terraform provider needs OAuth credential IDs uh, in order to connect to Genesis Cloud. So we need to set up three environment variables that will tell the CX's code provider th those credentials. So let's go ahead and configure those. Now they all have to be environment variables. So I clicked on variables. I'm going to say add variable. I'm going to make sure that it is an environment variable. And I'm going to first set up my Genesis Cloud OAuth client ID. And I'm going to provide um, the client ID for it. Then I'm going to set up my Genesis Cloud secret. Now, typically, uh, secrets are supposed to be secret. So when I set this up, I'm going to be regenerating regenning on that OAuth client the secret. So you won't be able to use it to play around with. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to set this up here. So I'm going to set up my Genesis Cloud OAuth secret. And remember, the OAuth client ID and secret are all set up inside of Genesis Cloud. All right. And since this is a sensitive value, I am going to mark this as sensitive. So anybody coming into the uh, Terraform UI that's been logged into your account can't just see that client ID. And then finally, I am going to um, add the region, uh, the environment variable for a region of where my Genesis Cloud org is located. So set my environment variable. I've gone out and I've set it. You can see that this is set as read only. Now, at this point, we're ready to go ahead and do a run. And a run could either be initiated by me going out and making a commit to my Terraform code or a run can be initiated by me doing this via the UI. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna to go to run and I'm gonna start a new plan. Now, if you've used Terraform before, you know Terraform usually by default does two steps. It does a planning step, which shows you, it's gonna take your Terraform file and the state that it's managing. And it's gonna say, here's everything I'm gonna do against your infrastructure, in this case, Genesis Cloud. And then you have to approve whether or not you're gonna let that apply. So I'm going to go out here and I'm going to start this plan. And what I'm going to do is wait for that to kick off. Now, the plan doesn't actually apply it. What it's going to do is it's just going to sit out there and it's going to create a plan file. And it's going to wait and uh, I'll wait for that to finish. And it's going to show you everything that it thinks it's going to do out there. So now when I go out, I'm just waiting for this plan to finish. And now I can either discard the plan or I can confirm and apply it, in which case it will actually make the changes out there. So I'm gonna go out and make a section and say, everything looked good. Let it rip. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and confirm the plan. And now you're gonna see the second part where we're actually applying the changes from our main.terraform file. And you can see that there's our seven items that we had in our Terraform file. and now we're going to start creating them. Now, the thing you're going to want to watch here is the deploy of the Archie flow. Before, we would have never been able to do this in Terraform Cloud because we would have had to have the Archie CLI installed and calling out to it. But because now Archie is running in the cloud, we can deploy everything natively. Um, this isn't going to work if you have to call out the Python APIs or scripts because you're missing components. But in a, a, an example where you can use all the resources, all the resources you need are already in uh, Genesis Cloud, this is a really quick way of just being able to trigger and do a build. 
So I'm going out there, I'm creating all these things. And I am deploying my flow. My flow is actually deploying right now and you can see it's creating and there's the ID of the flow. And then I'm creating the IVR and the configuration and all that good stuff. So at this point, my entire environment is now set up and ready to go. So let's go over here. I'm gonna to go to my apps.us west. I should already be logged into my environment. And what I am going to do is just prove it to you, but I'm gonna go show you the uh, admin flow. So let's go out here to admin. Give me just a minute as we uh, bring this up. I'm gonna look for architect. And let's go look at our call flows that we have out there. All right, so I'm gonna go inbound call flow. Um, and somebody has been using my uh, environment to do some testing. So you see a lot of stuff out there, but you've got your simple financial IVR and that's the IVR flow that we just set up and loaded. And if you go out here and you see it's actually good and it's active and ready to go. So uh, this pretty much concludes the dev drop. Um, if you want to, I would highly recommend that before you commit wholeheartedly to Terraform Cloud or anything, you play around with it. But it really is, like I said, a really nice simple way to get some a simple workflow set up and running. And it really kind of demonstrates that now that we've moved things like the Archie CLI into Genesis Cloud um, or that functionality into Genesis Cloud, it greatly simplifies the CI CD pipeline. And I think you'll find that as we build out more and more Genesis Cloud objects to be part of CX's code, we're going to have a very rich experience where you can pretty much set up most of the core infrastructure in your contact center. Um, you know, just by using CX's code. So thanks everybody, have a great uh, day. And as always, if you have questions or concerns, please feel free to post about on the forum. We love hearing from everybody and look forward to talking to you in the future.